So a little while ago I bought this magnet off eBay, it was about $30 and I thought I'd take it down to a local river and see what I could find. Alright so after coming across a few of those barrel rings, uh, the tide started going down so I thought it would be a good idea to start heading back. Anyways heading back now and I spotted this on the edge of the river and thought I'd go check it out. So what it is is actually a vending machine and it's been here for 20 odd years and I thought I'd uh, try and open it up. Unfortunately it is empty and uh, the cash box has been removed before it was dumped probably or by someone else that's come across it before me. Alright, so a few weeks after that I got in contact with my friend Andy and we decided to give magnet fishing a bit of a shot again. So we went to another river this time, a different one. Uh, it's actually got an old railway bridge on it that's since collapsed or has been taken down. And then right next to that is a newer railway bridge that still has function. So let's go check that out. As you can see there, all there was was the disintegrated pieces of the old bridge um, in that area. So I'd have thought I'd move 50 meters downstream and uh, hopefully find something else. that it's like a sign or something maybe we'll see <laughs> all right so all we came across around there was that um, old sign in the river so I thought it'd be a good idea to move on to somewhere different area now near a um, quite a large lake and there's these houseboats scattered around so there's always the opportunity to find something here. So once 
Once again, no luck here, just a few bottle caps and some magnetic stones. Time to move on to another spot now, which is going to be this abandoned railway bridge, which seems pretty dodgy, but could be promising. Now further down that river, along the same railway line, to this small bridge here. Let's have a look. Alright, so once again, no luck there. So we thought it would be a good idea to pack up and start heading home and then stop off at any bridges that we see. Alright, so here's the first bridge we've come across. It's this old concrete one, which looks like it's been abandoned for a few decades. This old bridge here that looks like it's from the 60s or 70s. I probably stretched across the whole thing for like electrical or something. Cable. <laughs> All right, so while I had the magnet down in the river, Andy got his drone out and thought he would send it up and see where the abandoned road leads to. Yeah. All right, so once the drone was sent down that abandoned road, uh, about two or three hundred meters, we saw something that was pretty cool and unexpected. Let's go check it out. There it is, an abandoned coal mine that's been filled with water and it's been rehabilitated. Pretty cool.
overall it was a great day doing a bit of magnet fishing and exploring that abandoned coal mine and uh, big thanks to Andy for all these great drone shots and uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed the video guys see you on the next one